I was very moved by a story I read in the newspaper a couple of, um, uh, just one week ago, about a lady named um, Bernadine Pickering and another lady named Heather Cagle. Bernadine went into a Truman Medical Center, the, the emergency room, 10 months ago. She had burning in her throat and in her lungs. And as she was there for just a few hours, all of her organs failed, and she went into a coma. And she was in this coma for six weeks, and when she, when she woke, she had, had dealt with septic shock, and her limbs were not functioning anymore. And Bernadine be, ended up becoming a um, quadruple amputee. And so when we think about some clouds and some darkness, absolutely, this is what Bernadine was dealing with. And as she slowly d came awake to what was happening with her, she ended up going into this rehabilitation institute and started to learn to walk and move and, and have uh, her and work with her limbs. And as she was there, she started meeting other people that were also quadruple amputees or amputees that were learning to, to maneuver in life. And one of them was Heather Cagle. And Heather had this quote that she would say to Bernadine that... When I read this, I was just so moved. She said, I lost my fingers, I lost my legs, I lost my home, I lost my neighbors, and I was feeling like my life was over. But she said, before I had these, this, this amputation, I wasn't driven at all. I wasn't happy. I was just coasting. I didn't have much appreciation for life. Now I don't hardly ever wake up in a bad mood. I recognize that I get to wake up. I get to live this life. And because of Heather, Bernadine started to recognize that she had a partner in her life, her boyfriend, that when this had happened to her, was always there for her and helped her dress and helped her eat and got her over to the rehabilitation center. She renewed this relationship with her little girl. And she now says that before I thought I had all this time, before I'd sort of fallen asleep to my life, but today I recognize that my life in every moment is precious. Now, this was in 10 months that these women found one another, and Bernadine, she's on the front page of the Kansas City Star because of what they said, uncommon optimism. So what is it that is going on in our lives that, that wants to awaken that sense of, here comes the sun? That the spirit of who I am is so much more than this body, bone, and flesh that I can, that, that where we can see ourselves that we are on this holy and spiritual adventure and that we really want to be in every moment of our lives. This is it. It is now. That we want to have zeal for what is upcoming in our world and that we are the authors of the rest of our life. That we want to get busy living and not get busy dying. And finally, that we want to understand that that light is within and as we pay attention to it, it's bigger than any challenge that life has given to us. A final quote that's in your bulletin, and I want you to look up. Y'all don't pull out your bulletin. I shouldn't even tell you that. Take it home. If, if, you cause your tr if you call your troubles experiences, and if you remember that every experience develops some latent force within you, you will grow happy and vigorous however adverse your circumstances may seem. That latent force within you. Bernadine tapped into that. Heather tapped into that. Mario in that mind type tapped into that. And I know, I've watched, all, the ones of you that I know, that, that latent force come alive in all of you as you've been willing to be with and lean into whatever's going on in your life. And ask the question, what is that light in me that wants to shine more brightly in this situation? That latent force that all I have to do is pay attention to it. And here comes the sun. Because ladies and gentlemen, it's all right. Namaste.